Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. A couple of days ago I asked you on my Instagram to ask me questions about living in Canada versus Estonia, about moving or anything you would like to know about that topic. And I got a lot of questions, now I'm going to answer them. But before we start, I just want to mention that I have been living in Canada for nine years now and I absolutely love it. Let's start then. First question, it's kind of a fun question. What is your opinion on yellow school buses? Uh, that's a funny question. And I have a story for that. Um, so when we moved to Canada and we were driving to Mrs. Scoop's house where we were going to live the first month, the first thing I did on the highway, I took a picture of all of the school buses I found. I was so excited to see them because I had never ever seen one in person. I only saw them in the movies and for me they looked so magical and I didn't think that they can be real actually. And to come to Canada and to see them on every corner, I was like, oh, yellow school bus and I took a picture of it. So from the very first car ride, I think I have around 20 pictures of different school buses. I like them, they're, they're super fun. <laughs> Next question is, what is one of the biggest changes you noticed when arriving to Canada from Estonia? If we compare Canada to Estonia, Canada is so huge, big country. Estonia is a little baby country next to it. And Toronto, where we arrived, is a huge city where there's so many people. So I think the first thing I noticed was how many people are around me now because in Estonia I lived in Tartu and Tartu is a very beautiful small city and there is not so many people there but here now living in Toronto there is millions of people around you the second was of course new language because in Estonia you could easily talk in Estonian with everybody but here we had to change it to English. And the third one that came gradually, that's about me, um, is that I started feeling so much more confident in myself and I wasn't that shy anymore. Um, it didn't come right away, of course, but now, for example, I feel that I'm so confident and I'm not scared of almost anything anymore. So. That I have to be very thankful to Canada because you get to talk to so many different people who come from so like all over the world. You all get together and you get to share your experiences and stories. And I think that is making you more confident. Next question. Do you like Estonia or Canada better? Um, this question, I don't have a full answer for you because I like both of them. Uh, Estonia because I was born there and I was raised there and I have my beautiful family there who I love so very much because we are very close but in Canada I like living here and the life that I have built myself here so I can say that I like both countries <laughs> all right the next question is in Estonian Kultura teistisse siis kus that means when you're coming to Estonia, where are you living? Um, our main place where we're living is Hotel Tarpat. That's usually where we go and stay. But it depends on the time, like is it competition time or just fun time? Because uh, very often we live in our uh, grandparents' houses. They both have beautiful countryside houses. Or we live with my aunt Dorika and her daughter Misu and the two cute dogs. So sometimes it can happen that we live on all four places and we just keep traveling like that. But yeah, it depends. Next question is also in Estonian. Kas näed ennast kunagi uuesti Eestis elamas või kuski mujal hoopis veel? This means, do I see myself living in Estonia one day or maybe uh, somewhere else? in another country. I would say that anything can happen, but right now, this moment, I 
just see myself living here in Canada because that's what I personally want but anything can happen we don't know yet next question is also in Estonian Kuidas uue keelega harjuda oli? Kodus räägid inglise keeles? This means how did I get used to English and am I talking in English at home? Um, so at home we speak only Estonian. Maybe some words we say in English or some phrases, but our home language is 100% Estonian. When I moved to Canada, at first it was a little bit difficult to understand what people were talking about because even though I learned English at school in Estonia there was so much like very much I didn't know and didn't understand so at first it was difficult but I got really good friends right away and we were texting to each other and from them I learned certain ways they're saying something or how they're spelling the words so this was really helpful I also started watching in TV shows in English and movies in English and I think from that you can learn a lot. Even now, nine years later, I still have so much more to learn. Next question. Do you like living in Canada or Estonia more? At the moment I like to live in Canada more because that's the country where I have built my life and that's where I enjoy living the most right now. Biggest shock, surprise, changes. I think the biggest surprise when moving to Canada for me was seeing so many different people. I, I mean from so many different countries. Because in Canada, it's like a, I would call it a big family of people from different countries. We're moving on to next question. So are you Estonian or Canadian? Confused a bit. I am both. <laughs> I'm Estonian and Canadian, meaning uh, I was born in Estonia and I was raised in Estonia. Nine years ago we moved to Canada and here I started building a new life. And I always like to say that my heart is still blue, black and white but in the middle of the heart there is a big golden maple leaf that represents uh, my love for both of the countries, Estonia and Canada. Somebody's asking just food, so I guess she means um, what's the difference between foods in Canada and Estonia. For our family there is no big change, no big difference because my dad is cooking for us. He's, also, he's always cooking Italian food, for example. So he brought these recipes here and we're still eating the same thing. I, he has added a lot of new recipes to try and new foods. But I think basically we're eating the same things as um, in Estonia. Uh, the only difference is that in Canada, they do not sell black bread. Here's a picture of black bread. And this is like one of the main things Estonians like to eat. And do not have it here. At first was really strange. And now we just bring it in from Estonia or my mom is baking her own black bread. Favorite thing about Estonia. The biggest, the most favorite part of course is my family because we're really close. We're really close with my grandparents and with my aunt. This is the biggest, the most favorite thing I have in Estonia. Second would be my friends, who I really hope will come and visit me more often here in Canada. Somebody's asking where is Estonia? I'm gonna put a map here. Estonia is that cute small country in Europe. Next is cute. <laughs> it's in Estonia as well. Ma tean, kes kõige rohkem Eestis ootab siin. Ma ootan siin ka. Ma ootan siin ka natas kõige rohkem. Next question. Do you see yourself back in Estonia in the future or maybe in another country? Um, I think we had a similar question uh, before. So I don't know yet what will be in the future. But as of now, I see myself in Canada. Um, I don't really see myself in any other countries. 
Next question is, do you like? Um, I think, do I like living in Canada? Yes, I do. I love it. I absolutely love it so very much. <laughs> Next question. Fun fact about moving to Canada. Uh, I will tell you a fun fact. So when we moved here, we lived uh, in Mrs. Goop's house. I moved here with my family, with my mom, my dad, my brother, and my two friends. So me and my friends were given Mrs. Goop's basement and we got just two little mattresses where all three of us had to fit and sleep on for uh, one month, for a month, yes. And we were still younger and in a new country and it was a little bit scary. Uh, and during the night, there was always um, classical music playing. And if you're in a new country and you're just tired from all the travels and all, it was a bit scary to live in a basement and hear a classical music at night. When we moved to Canada, Estonia still didn't have Oreo cookies. Um, we only got it from airports or when we went to another country. But Canada had them and for breakfast, for weeks, I had just yogurt with Oreo cookies because I was enjoying it so much that you can just go to the store and get Oreo cookies and eat them. Next question. First memory from arriving to Canada. At the airport, our Estonian friend Ulla was waiting for us to drive us to Mrs. Coop's house. And she was holding a can of Canada Dry ginger ale. And uh, for me, it looked so weird because I'm not sure if at that time all over Estonia or most in my family, we didn't drink anything from the cans, especially not lemonade or ginger ale or any kind of soda. And to see somebody at the airport holding the can, it was so strange for me. And when we went to the car, she also offered it to us. And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Can I, am I even allowed to drink um, soda from a can? So I think this was the first um, kind of memory for me because my family didn't drink anything from the cans. And overall, we didn't really drink soft drinks or any like sweet drinks we had water and juice and sport drinks but we never really were drinking like coke and canada dry or sprite or these kind of drinks but here it changed really fast and now we drink it almost every day next question was it hard to get friends in canada no that's one of the easiest things you can do is to get friends here in canada because everybody is so friendly the people who are you're surrounded with are so friendly and you can make friends with them really easily. Next question. Did you like school in Canada? I'm still in school, so I will talk about both high school and university. High school, at first it was a little bit strange because um, new language, new courses, um, it was hard to understand sometimes what people were talking about or what they wanted from me but that changed pretty quickly and once I got more friends and uh, started understanding better I had a really good time in high school especially when I started school in Northview Heights I got really good friends and um, I was taking part of all the dance shows and dance shows and Christmas um, shows and everything so it was fun to be together with all the creative people like singers and dancers and more so that's one of the parts that I was really enjoying about high school all these shows and overall it was a pretty fun time uh, later I started my first university um, that was even funny that was also fun and I was going downtown actually downtown Toronto every day for school and it was such a big change from just being a high school kid and sitting on one building <laughs> every day um, to now being in a town town in huge big buildings and changing the buildings between the classes and um, that was super cool uh, second university I did uh, in uh, University of Toronto I did uh, digital marketing and that was during COVID so this was online 
and online was also a new experience uh, school-wise but of course then I couldn't make so many friends because we didn't really see each other nobody wanted to put the camera on and now I'm in Toronto Film School in my third university and um, it's super fun it's not hard to make friends here at all when you're actually going to school so I think school in Canada is super fun <laughs> next question tell us something interesting so about Canada, something interesting. One thing that I'm still, not anymore, but at first I was so interesting was how you are getting paid when you're doing a job. At first, when I just moved here, they didn't do uh, any money transfers like e-transfers, but they gave you a check and you have to go to the bank to put the check in and get the money on your bank account. That was a new thing for me and it was very interesting. Next question, it's in Estonian. Kas sa elad Kanadas majas või korteris? Ja kas on sinu päris enda oma? Um, so this is a question in Canada, do I live in a house or in an apartment? Uh, we are living in a house and this is our own beautiful house. In nine years, our family has lived in Mrs. Goop's house. Then we moved to a condo. Then we moved to the next house. The next house the next house and now we have our own real house so in nine years we have moved way too many times and we have lived in six different places here in Canada but I think this is it for now um, if one day you have even more questions we can make another video and you can always ask me the questions on messages as well I will get back to you as soon as possible Thanks for listening guys, bye!